What is a biomass wood pellet? Biomass is organic matter that can be used to generate energy. It can include wood, plant materials, and even animal dung, used to fuel fires for warmth and cooking. An effective feedstock storage system is necessary so as to keep biomass away from impurities and offer adequate protection from rain and moisture in general. Rain may actually damage the feedstock by increasing its moisture content to such a high level that the drying process becomes unviable. Pellet plants start their process by putting large pieces of wood through a chipping machine for processing. These are necessary for mills that accept this non-uniform feedstock. There are many different configurations to pellet manufacturing plants depending on their raw material source. After chipping, pellet plants have a hammer mill at the beginning of their milling process. These machines take sawdust and wood chips and break them down into a consistent smaller size, making drying and pressing through the pellet die quick and consistent. If a pellet mill uses fresh cut raw material, material exposed to the weather or high humidity, or a mix of raw materials that may contain moisture, they have to dry the sawdust to a consistent moisture level. Large dryer drums may use natural gas, propane, sawdust burners, or other fuels to heat the drum, driving off the extra moisture. After drying, the sawdust is pressed through dyes at high pressure. This process causes the sawdust to heat up and release natural lignans in the wood that bind the sawdust together. The mill also determines the density of the pellet, the diameter, the durability, and the length. All of these characteristics are very important for consistent pellet appliance operation. The pellets come out of the wood pellet mill between 200 and 250 degrees and soft. A cooling tower is used to bring the temperature down and harden the pellets. After cooling, they are usually stored in a large silo tagging or bulk distribution. The most common method for distribution is to put the pellets into 40-pound plastic bags and stack them on pallets or skids. These skids may contain anywhere from 1 to 1 and a half tons of fuel, depending on the distribution channel. Bulk pellets are loaded from the pellet mill silo directly into trucks for delivery to bulk storage containers.